Hey, what's up guys? It's Mo again. This is not a fragrance video, so you can X out the video if you if you don't want to watch. This is more of a current event response, I guess, or something. Just I want to share my two cents on a topic. Now, I never include political stuff, religious stuff, or cultural stuff in my videos. So I might take this down later. I might not. Whatever. You guys know what's going on right now. Big movement. Awesome. Protests. Great. I just want to address the brown community, the Desi community. You know, I have a lot of brown folks that watch my videos. Awesome. I associate with a lot of brown people. I'm Bangladeshi myself. So I'm addressing you guys. Okay. I see a lot of brown folks participating in the social media activist movement. Awesome. That's great. However, my only problem is after all the posts that you do, after all the stuff, the protests, you still go home to a house full of racism. What do I mean? Brown people are taught to be racist. I'll be completely transparent with you. I was taught to be racist towards black people. I was taught growing up that black people are incapable of higher education. They're incapable of white collar jobs. They're incapable of being like members of society that will benefit society. I was taught they're criminals. They're not people. They're not this, they're not that. But I grew out of that. I associated, I assimilated, I did everything. You know, I went to black houses, I had dinner, I had many black friends going, growing up in college, and I, I realized that whatever my parents and my family taught me was wrong. And I took what I learned and I taught my mother. It was very hard. I know it's very, very difficult to change old brown people's ideals, but you have to try. Okay, it was a five-year battle for me, but I finally got through to my mom, and I can't even blame her for being racist. That's what she was taught. Back home, when I go back home, my cousins are like astonished that I have black friends. They can't comprehend it. My grandmother, the most sweetest person in the world, does not understand that I have black friends. That's what they were taught. That's what we were taught. I was taught to be a racist. I grew out of that. It's great seeing my friends and everybody come out of that racist mindset. However, your parents, your grandparents, your uncles, your cousins, they are still racist. You're still going home to them. So my thing is, if after all this posting, you still have not even attempted to change their minds or you have not even attempted to show them the other side, then you have failed. You know, short term, sure, you know, there, there might be some changes in, in you know, like uh, how police handles uh, their cases and how Supreme Court cases are handled when it comes to black people. But in the long run, people are still racist. Brown people are still racist. What are you doing for the long run? What are you doing for your for your family, for your future kids. I have brown folks right now that are posting a crap load of stuff on social media, yet they, won't, they will still say, I can't date a, a black person. Uh, black people are not marriage material. I can't marry a black person. I can't bring a black, black person home to my family. Why is that? If you're, if you're part of the movement, but you still have this pent up hatred inside of you, your family still has this pent up hatred inside of you that was taught and you're not addressing that, that to me is hypocrisy. That, I mean, I did what I had to do and it was a battle, I'm telling you. Um, convincing my mother was really hard because she grew up in a different time period, different culture, different everything. So for me to convince her otherwise, it was a long battle, but I did it. And right now, she doesn't see black. Okay, I have black folks that come home, play video games, we, we eat. You know, we go to the backyard, barbecue, do whatever the hell. I She doesn't even question if I go to a black person's house. Like before, she'd be like, oh my God, you're going with your black friend. Be careful. Now she's like, all right, have fun. You know, her views have changed completely. And it took a long time, but I did it. And it was a long journey. And my thing is, what are you doing? You in the Daisy community, your parents are still racist. Your family, still racist. Your uncles, aunts, grandparents, still racist. So if you're doing all this stuff... And yet, you don't even attempt to change your family's mind, the people you live with. You don't even attempt to, you know, like show them the other side. To me, that's just hypocrisy, man. Like, in the long run, that does nothing. And all this will just happen again. And we're just going to be protesting and doing all this stuff for abs the same thing. If the root cause is not addressed, uh, we're just going to be doing the same thing, expecting a different result. And that's... That's just my take. So if you're brown in the Daisy community and you're all for the social media, social justice, all the stuff, great. But address the racism that is taught to you in the household and 
teach your parents, your uncles, your grandparents that this is not okay and show them the other side because I did it. And if I could do it, trust me, you could do it too. And my mom is just like any other old Bengali mother. You know, if you if you convince her enough, you show her the other side, she will be convinced, okay? Racism is taught. I was taught to be racist. I learned out of it, okay? And that's, that's all I had to say, man. Do all the posting, do whatever, but address the main issue. Teach your damn parents, okay? Brown people are freaking racist. The older brown people are racist. It's your job to make sure that they snap out of it. And it's also your job to make sure your kids don't learn any of this garbage, okay? So that's all I had to say. And um, yeah, I, you know what? Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a nice day.